Sky Sisters, written by Jan Bordeaux Wabous, illustrated by Brian Danes. Hurry and finish your hot chocolate, Alex, my big sister calls. She pulls on her blue parka and scoops her gloves off the floor. Come on, slow poke, or they'll be gone by the time we get there. I gulp the last drop of chocolate and wipe my mouth on my sleeve. Mother smiles. Dress warm, she says. Sister holds open my new green parka. It is my favorite color. I slip my arms in, then lace up my boots. Allie, I'm not slow. See, I'm ready. Mother looks out the window. Yes, the sky spirits will come tonight, she says. Let's go, I shout, and I race to the door. Mother calls after me. Alex, remember to listen to Allie. Yes, Alex, I'm older, Allie grins. Not by much, I say. Mother raises a finger to her lips and quietly says, Shh, remember the words of grandmother, Arnokamis. Wisdom comes on silent wings. She smiles and waves and closes the door. The night air is cold and tickles my nose. I watch my breath form clouds that greet the open sky. My big sister and I stand beneath a million stars. Nothing stirs. Silence is all around us. Everything is frozen except for me and my parka and my sister and hers. I think of our journey ahead and my heart beats faster. I am filled with excitement and I wonder how quiet I can be. My sister's soft words break my thoughts. Keep warm, Nishimi. She calls me this to remind me that I am the little sister. She reaches over, flips up my hood, and tucks my pink scarf around my face, then snuggles behind her own warm scarf. We might have a long wait tonight, she says, as she creates a trail ahead of me throughout the blanket of snow. How long, I call. She does not answer my question, but turns to me and says, Shh, Nishimi, whisper when you speak. She raises a purple-gloved finger to her lips. Okay, Namise. I form the words, but make no sound. Our boots leave big holes in the snow as we head in the direction of Coyote Hill. Sister leads the way. I follow in her footprints. Her stride is bigger than mine, so it's not easy to keep up. I remember stories Mother told us about midnight on Coyote Hill. When she and Auntie were girls, Mother was the leader. Auntie was younger and had to follow like I do. I wonder if Auntie ever wanted to lead. I eat snow from my mitten as I trail behind. Up ahead, Namise is waving her arms for me to hurry. I'm coming, I blurt the words into the night. My voice flies through the air. Then I remember the words of our Nokomis. I can't see my sister's face, but I know she is frowning. We stop by a gathering of trees. I watch Namise pluck a glistening icicle from a branch and put it in her mouth. I do the same. Quiet surrounds us, except for the sound of my sister sucking on her ice sword. You're noisy, I whisper. She sticks out her tongue and moves on. I ignore her and look up to see Grandmother Moon glimmering behind a thin cloud. The night is still, and the black shadows all around form strange shapes. I quicken my pace to keep up. The dark arms of the balsam tree are heavy with snow. They reach out to touch as we walk on. Something stirs in the shadows beneath the branches. Nishimi, don't move. Namizi speaks low. You'll scare it away. She stops and points at a fluffy white rabbit. But I see something bigger bounding towards us. It is moving quickly. I try to tell my sister, but the words will not come. I tug on her arm and point. What is it? She asks. Yet she does not look away from the rabbit. It is too late to warn her. The huge shape is right in front of us. My sister whirls around, gasps, and holds on to my arm. I suck in my breath and hold her arm. We stand motionless as we stare into the eyes of a deer. The deer looks at us and does not move away. With strong legs, she paws at the snow before us. She waits a moment, 
then turns and runs gracefully towards the river. We stare after the deer for a long time before Namise whispers, a white-tailed deer, nothing to be afraid of. Sister lets go of my arm. I know, I whisper to. I wasn't afraid. I let go of her arm and smile, and she smiles back. We hold hands and run toward Coyote Hill. The closer we get, the more it looks like a big white bear. When we reach the hill, Namise says, it's steep, let me pull you up. It is not that steep, but I like my big sister pulling me up. I pretend she is a team of huskies as she climbs higher with me in tow. Faster, faster, I try to call out gently and I begin to giggle. Namise stops and turns. It's your turn to pull me. No, it's not. It's my turn to be the leader, though. Follow me, I shout. I run past her as fast as I can to the top of the hill. And Shimi, whisper when you speak. Sister's words chase behind me. We can see our north country for miles from Coyote Hill. The wind is strong up here. Icy fingers pull at my warm green parka. A snow cloud hides Grandmother Moon and delicate snowflakes begin to sprinkle down to us. My sister opens her arms and reaches for the sky, trying to gather as many flakes as she can. I too reach my arms to the sky to gather my share. She leans over and speaks. Her words are as soft and light as the snowflakes. The sky spirits will come tonight. When? I ask. But there is no time for an answer. A howl breaks the silent night, then another. The cries are long and loud. I quiver and move closer to my sister. What is it? I speak so that I can barely hear my own words. Sister's eyes are wide with excitement. It's a coyote, she bursts out. He's singing to us, listen. The coyote sings his song once again and stops. He's waiting for an answer, says Namise. She cups her hands around her mouth. I do the same, and together we howl back the coyote song. Low at first, and then louder. The coyote answers. So do we. A few more calls, and all is quiet. My sister and I look at each other and grin. Namise's grin is as big as mine. The wind blows stronger now and whips my scarf in circles round my head. Sister's hair falls free from her hat and swirls about her face. Her purple scarf twists and turns behind her. She leans into the wind and stretches her arm out to me. We join hands. Around and around we spin, faster and faster. Our legs lift with the wind as we dance under the northern sky. Dizzy, we fall down on Mother Earth's winter quilt. We lie in silence beneath the endless miles of midnight. The wind has left. It's calm again. The only sound is our breathing. I want to ask, when will the sky spirits come? But I do not speak. I like the quiet. I see the little dipper and follow it with my mittened hand. Namise traces the big dipper. Then she says, they'll be here soon. I wonder how she knows. And so we wait. Our faces turn to the stars. We begin to make snow angels. Our arms and legs wave at the sky. Up and down we move, watching, waiting. Time stands still on top of Coyote Hill. Suddenly I hear my sister exclaim, look, they're here. High above us are the sky spirits, dressed in my favorite green and Namisa's blue. We watch them sway and flicker in the four directions. Streamers of pink and purple swirl and flow across the sky, twisting and turning. The sky spirits join together. Around and around they spin, faster and faster. Their shimmering parkas and scarves lift with the wind as they dance in the northern sky. They wave down to us and we wave back, over and over. I watch in silent wonder as I think of the words of our Nokomis. Wisdom comes on silent wings. 
My sister's shouts break my tranquil thoughts. Nishimi, they're sky sisters. Her voice echoes in the night. Shh, I say. Remember, Namis, whisper when you speak. And we laugh out loud as we lie beneath the northern lights, my sister and I.